Welcome to Science Exposed. I'm Patty. I'm Tracy. And we're from Praxis. And once again, we're here to do some science experiments. Make sure you have an adult help you if you're a child watching this at home, because for us, safety is really important. But this one's a relatively fun experiment. Today, we are going to do an experiment um, that involves the science of motion and sound. So this is a fun experiment. I really like to do this one. Um, it, you know, you could do it different times of the year. Um, it's fun if maybe you wanted to have that eerie sound. Um, teachers might like to do it at Halloween in their classroom. Okay. Or if you just want to kind of scare the students and tell them there's monsters living in the classroom so they behave a little bit. So that'll go over well. <laughs> yeah, so educators uh, just think of that. So, so this is pretty simple. So basically, we're going to take a balloon. And here I have a hex nut. You can get these any hardware supply store really easy. And that's what we really want to do is have experiments where you can find easy materials. Yeah. You can get them anywhere in town. So we're going to put the hex nut in here. Thank now, you. I want you to be careful when you blow the balloon up. Make sure you don't, if you, if you lose breath, make sure you don't leave it in your mouth because by the off chance, you that inhale. hex nut, could in, you could inhale it. So make sure you take it out of your mouth to take a breath, okay? Please don't pass out. I don't want to do mouth to mouth, okay? I'm good. Okay, good. Are we racing? It doesn't have to be very full. Okay. So we're just going to go like this. Now this is the tricky part because we have to find something called centripetal force in this balloon. So I like to just kind of take the balloon in my hand like this and hold it and we want to get that inward force. We want that hex nut to find the center of the balloon because we want it to bounce and vibrate off that because something, something's going to happen as you can see. So you ready? One, two, three. Screaming or vibration sound is caused by that hex nut vibrating against the inside wall of the balloon. I can feel it too. You can feel it too, yeah. It's really. Now be careful. Don't bounce your balloon up and down because like it, often ex it often explodes. Oh. So just be careful. So to prove this, what if we put different things in the balloons? Do you think there might be different sounds? Probably not. Well, let's try it. So well, I have round things? Round things, oh. yes. No, yes. So the <laughs> easiest thing I found today, I had some spare change in my pocket. I have pennies. Let's try pennies. You first. had a penny in I your know pocket? I know. Well, no one will take these. I had to put them somewhere. Yeah, so science them. is the best place for them. Okay, you ready? Blow them up. Okay. Do you have one? Oh, I, I'm quick. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I do this a lot. Okay. Okay, you ready? <laughs> that might be bigger. So inevitably, you know, the penny's going to spin in there because it's round, right? Okay. But is it going to make that spooky, eerie monster sound? Well, you said that um, these are six-sided. Yes, the pennies are not. Exactly. These were very smooth. So, okay. you ready? Listen to ears. So not. I can't get any sound. It's just spinning, spinning, spinning. Mine's spinning, but it's not making that sound. Nothing. So what's better? Yours was. So we're not getting that vibration as much. Oh. Let's try just one more coin. Okay. Let's go. Oh, how about a quarter? Oh, yeah, okay. There's 25 cents for you. I want my money back later, oh. okay? I'll buy a coffee. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, just a minute here. Oh, we're stuck. Sometimes science isn't, you know, real quick. And that quarter, maybe we should have used a nickel. Okay. Okay. Ready? So again, the quarter was smooth. Do you think it's going to create any vibration? Uh, not, not like the hex nut. No, because that hex nut, you can see. If you look, you can really see those edges. Look at that. It's jagged. It's not smooth like the coin. The coin, you can feel it's so smooth. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, but let's give it a shot. Okay. Maybe it'll produce something. I don't know. Better than the penny. Kind of, kind of a whistle. Whist. Okay. Sh so maybe a little bit. But definitely, if you want that spooky, spooky sound, you have to go with the hex nut. That obviously was not the hex nut. That's, there we go. That's all I have for today. 
But for more fun science experiments, make sure you visit our website at www.praxismh.ca. We look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.